Hi, this is Joanna from Relovery Store, and I got this cute little table from a neighbor who was about to toss it as it was completely broken at the frame. At first, I wasn't sure what to do with the table, but then I realized if I cut some wood at the broken parts on both sides of the table, I might be able to save the frame and keep the integrity of the table somewhat together. Upon making the cut lines on each side of the frame, I cut the wood off and I started to sand it smooth with my surf prep sander. Upon sanding it smooth, I started to stain the frame in Kona by Verathane to give a nice rich look. Prior to staining and then later on painting the piece, I cleaned it well with my TSP solution to get rid of the grime and some loose particles that have accumulated for years on that table. Besides the cleaning, the TSP solution deglossed the table for me, so I didn't have to sand before staining it in Kona. As you can see, the stain color gives a real richness to the base of the whole table. And now the table is ready to be painted on top. I decided to blend in two colors, Riverbank Green and In the Deep with a sponge for the decoupage background. Upon the paint drying, I used Mud Budge to prepare the surface area of the table for the decoupage application. I used a roller to smooth out the Mud Budge and to have the decoupage applied easily. For the decoupage, I chose Madame Lefebvre from Mint. I immediately thought of creating an old oil painting with the upcycled frame that I just fixed earlier. Here I used a polishing pad by Prima to smooth out the image on the surface. And again, I used mud pudge and a roller to seal in the whole entire image. The mud pudge dries clear, so you don't have to worry about all the roller marks on the image. Once the mud pudge dried, I started to blend in the decoupage image using my fine brushes and mineral paints by Mint, as well as a sponge for blending. I find using the sea sponge an excellent medium for blending the decoupage with the background. The nice thing about getting a decoupage paper from Mint by Michelle is that she carries also and mineral, mineral paints that coordinate to each of her decoupage papers. So you don't have to worry about matching colors from different paint companies. Coming back to sea sponge blending, the sponge also gives a nice texture. So it covers well the decoupage lines on top of the surface. Last but not least, I added a little bit of a texture to the bird and painted some wings. After I was done blending in the image, I decided to add some light with white paint from Mint as well uh, on the bird's beak and eye and on the Madame Lafevre image. Once I was done with that, 
I glued and nailed back the fixed frame to the table and started to add some gilding wax in eternal from Prima on the carved frame details. I wanted the top of the table with the image and the frame looked like an authentic old vintage oil painting. The core wax in Eternal by Prima is a very pretty metallic gold that stands out on this beautifully carved frame. The carved details on the base and legs of the table also got a touch of gilding wax to match the frame. And let's not forget the pedicure. I find using a harder bristle brush to apply the core wax easier than with a soft bristle brush. Sometimes I use my finger as an alternative to a brush. It's just as easy. To seal in the image, I decided to use Fusion Ready to Pour Resin. Then I used a potty knife to spread out the resin on top of the surface and started to tilt the table in different directions to spread out the resin evenly on each side and each corner. I went back with my potty knife to bring the resin to each corner carefully and to make sure the whole entire surface area is covered with resin. To get rid of any air bubbles from the resin, I used my heat gun on high setting and started to target those air bubble areas on top. This usually takes a few minutes and the whole entire resin surface area dries clear in the end. Make sure to keep some distance between the image and your heat gun. You don't want to be too close or too far from it. And here is how the image looks all dried up. Links for all the products used in today's video you can find in my description. If you like this video, like and subscribe my channel for more. For more content, you can follow me on Facebook, Insta and TikTok at Free Love Restore. We'll see you there.